This is Chris the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I'm gonna to be answering a question about the Bondo. So I'm working in this 1950s renovation. We're doing a lot of sanding, doing a lot of spackling, and doing a lot of Bondoing. And the red stuff on the doors right here is Bondo glazing putty. And that's what we put on after spackle and sand that because it's harder than spackle. It sands flatter and it gets rid of small imperfections that spackle will not get rid of because it's too soft and it'll sand out. So we use Bondo. Now the Bondo glazing putty is red. Um, I've heard there's other colors of it out there. Where I come from, there is no other color options other than red and red shows up um, when you use your top coat. You know, pretty easily. So uh, people are asking me, do you prime the Bondo before you spray in your top coat? Now, typically we don't prime our Bondo before spraying the top coat and because we always spray two coats and we're using really high-end top coats that cover extremely well, even when they're white. And so usually you're going to see the Bondo, you know, uh, fairly easily after your first coat, but after our second coat, you usually never see the Bondo anymore. If you do a third coat, you're definitely not gonna see the Bondo. So if you're trying to one coat it, you probably should prime it because that's gonna cover, uh, white primer is gonna cover that red, and then you're gonna go over with your top coat, and it's going to um, cover in one coat. But we're always doing two coats, but even with some of the products out there, we were just spraying some Benjamin more advanced, two coats, and I can still see the um, Bondo in some cases because I had to spray it on really thin because it was cool and the product was running a little bit. So you can uh, prime it. So you don't need to prime it uh, because your top coat's going to bond to your Bondo without a primer, but the primer serves a purpose making it so your top coat hides better, especially if you're doing white. I do, if I'm going to do any spot priming, we've been spot priming here. We're just going to be using a product, Ben. This is Ben Schlack based primer right here. It dries super fast and it covers super well and so we can top coat it extremely quick so it's just gonna make it so it covers a little bit better so you can see I'm gonna um, spray my it's just gonna be a very light coat the shellac um, primer right here the bin it runs really easy so you want to stand back quite a bit when you're actually spraying that primer. That's all I need to do. If I was trying to one coat this now, I could spray that one coat, one super heavy coat if it was laying down especially, and it's gonna cover it. But once again, we're typically two coats. No, we don't typically prime our Bondo, uh, our Bondo but you can if you're concerned about coverage. I know there are some, um, in the past, I've used some really inexpensive, inexpensive uh, top coats like trim paints and stuff and you know they're just a lot of fillers don't have a lot of titanium in them and um, resins in them and they don't cover very well and this would be a case when you'd really want to spot prime it otherwise you may have to three coat over your bondo so you can see I'm back pretty far just lightly hitting this to get it to cover now that's primed right there ready to go got some bondo we shot up here if you get any closer than 12 inches to your surface when you're spraying this primer you're going to get runs it dries extremely fast but runs really easily so it's just short burst when you're doing your spot priming There are some parts on this door right here that we sanded down through multiple layers of paint. You can even spot prime that if you're actually doing spot priming. And that will cover a lot better right there, just like that. We did sand this door. I used my Ekasan 3x4 sander right here, used uh, 320 film tech to sand all the flat surfaces, the contours profiled. I'm using medium. Eka Silk right here, just sand all my contours right there. I'm gonna continue sanding right along right here and, and spot priming if I need to. We're gonna be using a product spraying these doors from Centurion Coatings. We're using their 400 series uh, interior trim product and it absolutely covers amazing. It does cover right over the Bondo in one coat. We're gonna be two coating it. It'll be covered 100% in two coats, but once again, um, do you need 
to prime over your Bondo? No, but if you're concerned about coverage, then you'll want to spot prime it. It's very simple, easy to do. Do you need to sand after you spray that spot primer? We spray the prop spot primer on, and when I use the Zinzer Ben primer right here, we never have to sand prior to uh, doing our top coat. The stuff lays out, gels out absolutely fine. If you do get some runs in it, you'll have to sand out those runs. So here's a look at the Bondo uh, glazing and spot putty we use, just like this. And I'm not in the automobile industry, but it's my understanding that when you got large dents, you put Bondo over it, sand that, then you use Bondo glazing putty to go over the top of that. Um, if I'm wrong, you can correct me, but that's what my theory is or what I've heard Bondo glazing putty is. It's widely used in uh, the painting industry around here, uh, fixing nicks, dings, um, new construction, all homes, do new construction. They'll put spackle in all the nail holes, sand that, then you'll go over it with Bondo glazing putty and you'll never ever see where that nail was before, um, before it was put there. So this is it and I'm just got a few things I've got to Bondo on here and it's just swiped on you know, with a knife, goes on red, dries extremely fast. It's good for filling small things. Not good for filling large holes because it shrinks too much, but dries really fast. But great for getting rid of all these imperfections. You can even get rid of brush strokes and stipple mark, stipple marks by using Bondo glazing putty. But these little tiny nicks and dings you can never get rid of those with spackle. Your sander would, or sandpaper would sand those right out. There's a spot right here where there was a latch and you'll see when I scrape it, the dark areas, what's left behind is where that latch was. So when it comes to bondoing or actually priming over your bondo, so the primer really is just for coverage issues. So if you're losing low end uh, top coats that don't cover very well, that's really what spot priming over your bondo does. It has nothing to do with adhesion. I don't prime because adhesion, the top coats we use adhere perfectly fine to the bondo. So it's not for adhesion purposes. It's just for coverage purposes when we're spot priming with bin bomb cans. So there you have it, a simple tip using Bondo glazing putty. If you got any questions about this, the primer that we're using, the bin, the Bondo glazing putty, the sanding process, just let us know. If you got any tips and tricks, if you do it a different way, let us know down in the comments section below. We would appreciate hearing your comments. We learn from you just like you learn from us. If you've learned anything from this video, give us a thumbs up uh, and um, uh, which is like, like us, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time we come out with a new video. It's free, simple, easy to do. You got to subscribe and you got to notify. It's been free forever. It will be free forever. It's been free forever since, I don't know. It's always free. Anyways, we'll see you next time. Out.